Hello dolls, it's Divinity here. This week we popped in to see a Harriet who has asked for our advice. Me and my little angels will hopefully give her some tools so she can create herself a better tomorrow. Nana stays. So here I am with Harriet. Hello, Harriet. Well, hello, Divinity. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I must say it's uh, it's lovely to have someone in the house after oh, yeah. such a couple of difficult years. Mm. May I just check, though, have you done a lateral flow? Yes, I have, love. Yeah. Do I have to wipe the seat because uh, Malcolm over there is a bit of a sprayer? You know what I mean? So, Harriet, how can we help you today? Well, it, it's been a very strange couple of years yeah. since I lost my mother. I found it very confusing, very distressing. Now, when you say lost, did you just lose her when you were shopping or has she gone over the bridge? No, she's she's dead. She passed oh, on a couple yeah. of oh, years yes, yes, ago. Oh, yes, yes, medical angels are telling me. Oh, um, they're telling me she's very near. You're not buried her in the garden, have you, love? No, she's, she's oh. in the urn, which I, I bought through for you. Oh, I thought it was a biscuit tin. <laughs> must say she... Must have been a very big glass. <laughs> so, Harriet, love, can I ask how she, uh, you know, passed on? Well, she, um, she actually died in the house here, oh. so I'm, I'm sure she's still with me. She, she passed on the toilet. Oh, a bit like Elvis. Oh, and Judy Garland, she went that way as well. Can I ask, Harriet, love, was she doing a number one or number two? Uh, oops. Oh, Miracle Angel said it was a three. -er. <laughs> Done both. So what would you like to ask your mum today, love? Well, I'd, I'd just like to find out if she's if she's happy where she yeah. is, how she is, you know, if there's any message for me. Yeah. So what we're going to do, love, is we're going to hold a little seance, okay? Now, I don't do them squeegee boards. No, I just use myself as a, as, as a condiment. So this will either go one of two ways. I'll either open my chakra, and then she'll pop, and she'll discuss with you and talk to you. Or she just hover by the by the back door by your busy ladies. Okay. Now um, shall we begin? Yes. So Harriet, look, I'm just gonna light this little candle. See the uh, spirits. They love candles. They come towards the light and the warmth. Oh, is that Cherry Bakewell? Lovely. Okay, I'm talking to Merkel, love. Are you there? Just asking if you can pop in and talk to your little daughter. She got some little questions. Oh, somebody's appearing. Oh, I can smell toilet duck. I think it's her. Oh, oh. Here, <coughs> yeah. what are you brain doing? Can't you leave an old girl alone? Bloody hell, look at the state of this ass. You mucky cow! Why are you doing the bloody Uberings? Because you're watching Netflix? Don't you think I don't know what you've been up to? I've been watching you, wearing red brassiers, having the eating on 24-7, necking down gel phrases and pot noodles, and you sold my stunner stair lift. And don't tell me that battery-operated massages for your back and your neck. I've seen the places where that's been. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, chuffin' hell. Oh, she's a character, isn't she? Don't worry, Harriet, love. She's moved on, moved on upstairs. Oh, yeah, unfinished business. So, Harriet, love, you've asked me to do a reading for you with some of my cards. Yeah? Yes, please. Well, as you're a sort of uh, lady of mature years, I thought I'd use my Golden Girls cards. Yeah? Oh, lovely. Are you a Golden Girl, Harriet? I think so. Or are you a brassy bombshell like me? <laughs> I like the Brighton Bells. Anyway, these cards are very special to me. They were given to me from a lovely gentleman friend from the Americas. Shall we begin? Yes, please. Now look, your first card is Sophia stood next to a big lion. Now this card symbolises the love that you have for your little pussy. What's your pussy's name, love? Truda Mostrop. Oh really? It's a nice name. Now, unfortunately, Trudy 
is at the back in that ginnel every night with a bunch of tomcats and she has more fun in one evening than you've had in the whole of your life. So this card also means animal lust and prowess. So things have got to change, haven't they? If you see too. Now your second card here is Blanche. She's sat in a suitcase. Now this means two things. You, I think, are going to go on your first foreign holiday. Secondly, you're a bit tight, aren't you, with your money? You're as tight as a submarine door. Now that means you have to get some of that cash out of that suitcase and treat yourself. Comprende? You're right. Now your third card is the Four of Swords. And there you can see Dorothy laid lying down on a sun lounger next to a little table with four swords and a little cocktail. Okay? Now this means you'll be going on your holiday for a relaxation, meditation and recuperation. But avoid those barbecue shrimps, otherwise they'll be on medication. Or it might mean you have a little cocktail and a pork sword. Now your fourth card is the Page of Cups. Now as you can see, there's Rose stood standing there on the beach holding a little cocktail with a little fishy in it. Yeah, for the first time in your life, you're gonna meet, you're gonna meet a man. Now he's either gonna be a little fisherman with a little boat, or he's gonna be a waiter serving you up some grilled bream. How very Sheila Valentine. Now the last card, and the most interesting of all, is Blanche, the chariot. Look at her, st stood standing there with two lovely little hooks in front of her. Now this means you'll be going on your holiday and you'll be standing proud. Oh, you won't be able to sit down for a week, you know what I mean? But the men are going to be after you, love. One in particular. My little angels are telling me he's dark and he's handsome and he's going to be on at you until he gets what he wants. You know what I mean? Now I'm seeing the words Visas Pasportos which I think is either his name or where he comes from. I think you're going on your holiday as a miss and coming back as a missus. Now Harriet Love, let's have a little chat about some of the objects you have in your house. Now it's very important that you're surrounded by positive energy. You know what I mean? Now, unfortunately, there's lots of little spirits and naughty little angels and bad phenomenon that floats around in the air and it gets attracted to objects. Objects with faces. You know, like a little dolly or a little paw ornament like her. Now this little paw ornament, I've got a very bad, bad vibe about it. So it's a little closed eyes, sleepy eyes. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse this for you, okay? So I've asked um, Malcolm to get me some sage. <laughs> that's what that's what he brought back. But but it will work. Now I need you to do this alone, love. So do you want to go make me a pot, a pot of tea? Yes, of course. Oh, how do you take it? Milk, no sugar. Hi, is that Slippery Pete? Hello, darling. It's Divinity here. Now. Do you remember those little um, Amish figures you were telling me about? Well, I think I might have got my hands on one. Yeah. Little red frock. Black hat. Sleepy eyes. About six inches, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. I know. I think, I think it's the only one she's got. Okay. And there's a couple of little uh, ginger jars. I think they're from the Minge Dynasty. Yeah. All right, love. I've seen about an hour. Okay, bye-bye. Harry and love, is this the only figurine you've got? No, I think, I think I've got a matching one for the little English girl. Oh, could you bring that along as well, love? I think this is... Okay, look, put it down, don't touch it. Oh. Now, I'm afraid to say that I've had really big struggles trying to get the phenomenon out of the, the, this figurine, so I'm afraid... Um, these are going to have to come with me. Is that okay? Oh yes, please. Take take anything you want that's haunted or present. 
Please take it away from my hands. Well, I'll be taking these two with me and a couple of those little, little blue ginger jars on your shelf over there. You oh, see? But that's Because they're, they're, they're sealed and full of little demons and phenomena. Well, okay. if, if you're sure. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Shall I box them up? No, you? no. Malcolm will do that for you. You can't come into contact with them, love. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, there we are. Myself and my little angels have now helped Harriet create a better future and I hope she has a lovely holiday. Malcolm at the moment is securely packing those haunted items in the back of the car. We've just got one more thing to pick up before we leave. Come on Merkel, love, hurry up, all of the we'll leave without you. Live, laugh, love, Nana stays.